Uh, I'm Cheyenne. And this is my beautiful mom, Lindsay. I want to get baptized to prove that I follow, that I'll always follow in Jesus' footsteps and that I am just a pure follower of Him. I came to know Jesus from church. Coming to church and learning all about Him. What she said that was important for me to hear. Probably stuff like Jesus is always with you. On this decision means that I'm always going to follow Jesus and no matter how like all the bad choices that I can remember that I got baptized and just remember that Jesus is there. No matter how bad you feel, Jesus is always there and he'll always be there for you. I'm here today to get baptized. I would want to do something crazy like that because I want to publicly declare that I am following Christ and that I know he died for me. I've always been taught about Christ. I'd say my first experience was after my dad died. Well, it's not that I didn't accept him. I just maybe wasn't convinced. I just wasn't convinced yet. And when he died, I was convinced. I know I'm loved and I know I'm forgiven. So that's a big deal. I know that there is life after this. There's, there's something more. It's not this and then it's over. So that's changed because before I wasn't so sure of that. To know that somebody loved you so much to die for you is, that's pretty awesome. Amen, amen. Woo! Are you cold? I'm sorry. We warmed it up as best we could. Well, I'll tell you, what, what a blessing it is to have a kids' ministry where people hear the gospel. And weren't you guys blessed by that uh, dance that they did? We have an incredible kids' ministry and great leaders. I want to encourage you to be a part of this, be a part of kids' lives. And here, here is one of those examples with Cheyenne. You, you've given your heart to the Lord, and now we're going to baptize you. And it's going to be that you walk with him the rest of your life. Is that the plan? Yeah. All right. Let's pray for Cheyenne, all right? Lord, we thank you for this young life. We thank you that early on that she is not going to have to face the pain and the fear that comes with this life without you, that you are a God that loves her, that your promises are for her, that you have given her a hope and a future. And Lord, as she surrenders to you, as she chooses to walk with you during these teen years and beyond, that you are going to use her and you are going to minister life to her and through her. We ask that you would fill her with your Holy Spirit and baptize her in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, this group was in our last base camp, and uh, I hope it's okay I say this. You're not going to yell at me. But uh, yeah, there was a little bit of shyness. You might see it. And uh, I'm just so blessed that uh, shyness did not overwhelm the desire to follow the Lord in something that he's asked you to do. And he is going to use you in many lives. And God is working in your life. I saw it over these 10 weeks of base camp. God is working in your life. Let's pray for Lindsay, amen? Lord, thank you so much for what you're doing. Lord, you're, you're not just doing it around the world. You're doing it right here. You're doing it right here in Lindsay's life and Lex's life and Cheyenne's life 
and next best. Lord, you are doing a miracle. You are you are doing what Chase preached about, which is that you are calling us to be all in. In this time of desperation, in this time of craziness with COVID and with politics and all the insanity that's going on in this world, you are our savior. You are our healer. You are our deliverer. And Lord, we are so thankful, so thankful that Lindsay is an example of what you're doing. And Lord, we want to baptize her with your Holy Spirit and baptize her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.